Um, hi! If you're wondering why I look really sick, it's because I am. Today is the last day I have uh, to make my New Year's Eve dress. I procrastinated this for too long, blah blah blah, what else is new? It is now. It's four. I was inspired by um, this dress, which is uh, 750 pounds, which makes it, I think, even more euros. So definitely outside of my um, price range. But I saw that dress and I was like, I'm a mediocre sewer. I should be able to do this. And because that wasn't hard enough, why not give myself a really small time frame to do this as well? Because pff, why not, you know? Here's the plan. I have this mid-2000s dress from my mom. I will base my pattern off of this. Um, I put the dress on, wait. But just really basically the shape, like this and a high neck. For the upper layer, this layer, I have just really basic black, beautiful chiffon. And for the other layer, oh, this needs ironing. But this will be the underdress. And then to make it a bit more exciting, I bought some feathers. They're gonna go along the bottom. I have no idea how that's gonna happen. How am I gonna attach it? We don't know. I have four hours maybe before I have to start packing. I also have to eat. <laughs> I hate myself right now. This was me five minutes ago. I'm gonna blame it on me being sick. Okay, good news. One, the fabric was really easy to iron, so we can just start. Two, my panic brain has now been activated because I've realized how insane this is. She is here now, and anything is possible once she has entered the building. Hello and greetings from 2023 me. We are cutting apart the dress or in the past I cut apart the dress because I didn't know how to make this pattern. So we're taking it apart. I'm going to reuse the glitter parts for some other project in the future. It's basically made out of this shape. This is the underlying layer. Bad news. There's a dart. And the top layer is the same shape, but just this neckline is extended towards the sides and then gathered back to fit exactly this shape. Also, it was all done with French seams. So we're copying that as well, which I think makes sense with this kind of fabric. I hate myself. So I put the inside layer of my newly destroyed dress with darts and all onto the fabric. As you can see, I cut it on a bias. And if I remember clearly, this was the part where I was seriously considering just stopping because the fabric was shifting and I just, I couldn't deal with it and I was going through all the clothes that I had in my wardrobe that I could use instead. Um, the darts nearly destroyed me. This was a whole rant I had about darts and how stupid they are and how bad I am at them, especially because this is an underdress so nobody would see anyway. Why am I putting darts in? But I put the darts in and to my surprise they uh, really worked. Anyway, these are all the parts I ended up with. We have the two back panels that are going to be attached on the center, the center front with the two darts. The next step is to pin all the pieces together along the sides and the center back, leaving a small opening in the center back where later I can put my head through and also where I can attach the lining to the outside fabric. First side done. I think it worked okay, but for some reason, <laughs> There's a huge difference in my layers. I don't know. Don't know why. Oh, because of the dart. Ah, that makes sense. It's actually the perfect size for that. Okay, the first part of the dress is completely sewed up. We're now turning it inside out. And then we're going to sew over all those seams again to create French seams. And then we can move on to the chiffon part of the dress. I feel ridiculous every time I sell it. I I feel ridiculous every time I say chiffon. I feel like chiffon? I feel like an imposter somehow. I don't know. It's seven in the evening now. I've barely started. To make French seams, it's important that you don't sew right sides together, but wrong sides together first, and then turn it inside out and stitch all over those seams again, so that you're basically encasing all the raw edges. And it's a bit annoying and tedious, especially when the fabric is super slippery. But the finish is just so satisfying and honestly it's worth it every time. Look how clean this is. No raw edges make me very happy personally.
Okay, now it's finally time for part two, the outside layer with black chiffon. You can see this upper part of the dress that goes around the neck is a lot larger, which is because we're going to be gathering it so that it has like this nice, <coughs> excuse me, this nice ruffled look. Please stand by for this important message from our sewing master. Um, if you open up gathers that have been gathered for about 20 years, you probably need to iron it. <laughs> Just like before, I'm tracing the outside layer from this beautiful dress from my mom uh, onto my outside layer. Uh, and we don't have to be exact here with the shape because it's oversized. Can you guess how done I am? When I say I want to go back in time to slap myself for starting so late, I you have to believe me that I mean it with all my heart. I would go back and slap myself so hard that I just start like two days earlier would have already made such a difference anyway French seams again we love it I just realized I'm attaching the side seam of one side to the arm of the other so from here on everything became just a lot more chaotic because I kept making mistakes I attached the side to the arm row like I said I had to reopen all of it which was really hard with French seams and then I attached the wrong side while I was sewing it, I was like, it would be so annoying if I attached this from like the wrong side. I attached it wrong side to right side so that the seam is now on the outside. I'm hungry. I'm stressed. I'm generally unhappy. Um, about this, not everything. Like, this is just this. <coughs> it's 10 to 9. Wrong sides together first. Okay. Whew. Nearly made a huge mistake. Uh, guess what happens in a few minutes when I'm sewing it together and I have to turn it inside out. Guess what I realized there? Mm -mm. Don't I feel like a fool? To gather the front and back panel, just make two parallel gathering stitches on your biggest uh, stitch setting. <coughs> <coughs> then just gather them all together. Take a big gallon of water. It's important to stay hydrated and gather it up. Gather it all up until it looks pretty or until it looks the way you like it. Maybe you want it to look ugly. I don't know. Once you're finally happy with the way it looks, you can just put it all through your sewing machine. Just make sure to change the stitch length back to a normal length and then just burp, just burp it all through. If, like me, you're really hard to please, you can also just make some last minute changes. I just realized um, the wrong fabric is on the inside, like it's inside out. The shiny side is now on the inside inside, so the one like on my body is the shiny side. Which is not a problem problem, but it's still annoying because that also means that like the dart is on the outside, which you don't see, but I know it's there. But there's literally no way to change it now without losing my mind. So I'm just going to leave it. From all the things that could have happened, this is like, I'm happy. That's okay. It's 10 to 12. Ugh. Next step is the neck part. For this neck part, uh, I actually really did want the shiny fabric outside, so I paid extra attention to this and cut out a lot of straps, sewed them together, and just sewed it to the dress. Okay, quick update. Um, my camera died. It is nearly two o'clock. Um, I got okay far. All I have to do tomorrow is hem it and actually attach the feathers, which is, like, that's okay. I also have to pack and clean my apartment. But... This is what she looks like. Look at this. It looks so clean. She's still too long and this is all messy, but we're going to shorten it and attach the feathers. And then hopefully I can make it in time. Here I'm going to... So it's going to be ironed and it's going to be tied together and I have to clean it all up, obviously, but I need to go to bed.
This is my bed. I still have to clean up before I go to bed. Hmm. Good night. After four panic-fueled hours of sleep, uh, I came to the part finally that was supposed to spark joy, but it only sparked pure terror, attaching the feathers. The fabric was so slippery, I was so afraid that I was attaching it on crooked. It didn't matter if I was doing it on the floor or on the mannequin. It was just horrible. Also, there was a glue attaching the feathers to like the strip they were attached to, and every needle I put through became really sticky with like black glue. Then finally, to actually attach the feathers, I sewed them on one time facing upwards, so the end of the feathers pointing towards the collar, sewed around once. Then I just flipped them around so that they're now pointing downwards and sewed over it again so that the strip they're attached to is now covered by my black fabric and is really not that noticeable. I then went on a two hour flight that gave me a heavenly nap, which was great, thank you very much. Got to the hotel and started cutting off all the excess fabric. This, I knew this didn't have to be done very cleanly, um, which is why I didn't do it very cleanly. Okay, I cut it. You can see how poorly I cut it, look. <laughs> it's super uneven, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just pin it up, and then I don't have an iron here, so I'm going to use my hair straightener. It should be fine. We'll see. Yeah.